You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I wanna dry up a two Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be participating in the coastal or summer diy challenge hosted by Haley sombol diy this is an open invite so i will leave the playlist in the description box as well as her channel it's not a price i wanna pay and it's not too late no we lost our From Dollar Tree, I will be using a wood arrow and some wood letters. To make this ombre, I will be using four different shades of blue. I'm going to start with a lighter one first and so on. I will leave the name of the paint down in the description box. And every time I go in with a new color, I do grab just a little bit so like that it blends in with the other one. I am also using a different paintbrush for each paint. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all. So when I was looking through my letters, I realized I didn't have an A, so then I was like, oh, I can use a V with the shelf and just glue it upside down and the shelf in the middle like that. You can't even tell if it's an A or not. I added a little bit of the blue that I had left over from the arrow into the shelf. Then I'm going to paint the letters white. Once they were dried, I placed the letters on my sign to see where I wanted them to go and then I glued them using the hot glue. To make these cute tray decorations, I will be using some Dollar Tree wood cutouts. I already had these, um, but these are from Dollar Tree. I was going to use these last year, but I ended up not using them. I am going to paint them over with a mixture I did of Apple Barrel acrylic paint in Laguna and Cloudless. What I'm using for the little stands are two pieces of paint sticks and one dowel cut in half but i got these from dollar tree and i painted them with a waverly chalk paint and antique wax or the antique wax and the paint sticks i had these these are all extra pieces that i already had so all i'm doing is just gluing them to the back of the seahorse and then gluing the dowel to the piece of paint stick The last thing I did was add this beautiful bow to one of the seahorse. Now for this shell, I got this from a wood cutout also from the Dollar Tree packs. And I'm going to paint this using the um, Apple Barrel acrylic paint in Cloudless and Laguna and Peacock. I think that's the colors I use, but I will leave the information down in the description box. 
and I am going to paint this ombre again but this time I started with a darker color and then went to the light. Once I had all the paint, I went over it with more Laguna and then I just kept mixing and blending until I liked the color. Once it was dry, I had drilled a hole because I was going to use it in my next DIY, but I ended up not using it. So to cover the hole, I decided to add some juice string and that's all I'm doing, just wrapping it around. I didn't use any glue to glue this. All I did was tie it at the back and I also added some more juice string to the bottom. For this, I will be using a score stick that I already had once again. I'm using things that I already had, but this is one of the jumbo score sticks that Dollar Tree was carrying. And for the stand, again, I used two pieces of paint sticks and these, this time I stacked them together because the score stick is thinner than the dowel. So when I try to glue it down, it wouldn't stay, it kept falling. So I did have to like stack two of the paint sticks and make a hole in one of them. So like that, the school stick can go in there and like that, it can stay. Other than that, it will fall off unless, I don't know, unless I add something around it, which I didn't want to add anything around it. And that is it for these cute tray decorations. My next DIY is this Coastal Hurricane candle holder. From Dollar Tree, you're going to need some juice string, shells, a floral vase, and a candle. My floral vase, I'm not sure if it was from Dollar Tree. I already had this, but Dollar Tree does carry similar ones. And the candle isn't from dollar tree this is from michael's i think but dollar tree does carry some similar ones just a little bit smaller the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap a piece of string around the vase and i'm going to make like three or four knots next i'm going to cut six pieces of string and each string is going to be around 24 inches long Then I'm going to put the string through the other string. First I'm doing this and once I am done putting all six strings, then I'm going to start tying them. Once I finished tying them all the way to the end, I flipped the vase around and I'm going to use another piece of juice string and I'm going to tie it. I am not gluing anything down with just tying everything to this string. It's going to keep it nice and it won't fall off. So then next I'm going to just grab the each piece at the end. The last pieces at the end and tie them to this string that I put at the top. 
I did make like two or three knots just so it doesn't fall apart. And that is it all I did was cut off the pieces of string that were left or there were extra then I'm going to just add the candle and the shells and that is it for this coastal hurricane candle holder this next DIY is absolutely my favorite one and for this I'm going to use this family sign I have done in one of my previous videos I use a canvas and paint sticks. I will leave the link down in the description box if you want to go ahead and check it out. So all I did was repaint this and I'm using the Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint in Laguna and Cloudless. And the anchor that I will be using, this is actually from Walmart. I got it last year and I think it was under $2. I painted this white and then I sanded it using the Dollar Tree sand sheets. I will be adding some juice string to the anchor and I'm going to start by tying it through this hole that it has and then I'm going to just wrap it around there several times and then just wrap it around the anchor then when I am done doing that I am going to glue it at the end and then glue the anchor to the frame To hang my sign, I'm going to drill two holes, one on each side, and then I'm going to grab two pieces of the juice string and tie them together or twist them together and then put them in through them holes and then make a knot on each end and that is it. And that is it for this coastal or summer DIY challenge. Thank you so much, Haiti, for putting this together. And thank you so much for watching. And see you next time. Bye. I want to dry up a two. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late